Hello and welcome to my channel, I'm Michelle. Today's video is part of the five under $5 DIY challenge. So grab your cup of coffee or your favorite beverage and join me. I lost quite a bit of my footage on this, but basically I took the decals and spray painted them white. And then I glued on the little square blocks to the small ones and the tumbling tower blocks to the backs of the larger ones. Now the one with the little doorway, I made sure I glued the block to only one side. This idea actually came from the Craft Tessa and I will be sure to link her channel below so that way you can see her version as well. It's pretty much a duplicate of that. I was so inspired. It was super cute and very easy. To start this DIY, I spray painted the printed side of these dominoes with white and as you can see I'm just going to create the fold over of the envelope. I'm not entirely sure what that's called, <laughs> so we'll go with fold over. I'm centering my straight edge in the center of one of the top curves and then drawing a straight line towards the center of the rectangle and then that creates the look of the envelope. Now I do this on the white side of some and also on the natural wood side of some. I wanted the variation of color and I think it turned out super cute. Let me know what you think. As I mentioned at the beginning, this is one of my favorite DIY challenge playlists. It's the five under $5 DIY challenge. And it is hosted by my friends, Missy of the Crafty Cove, Emily of Farm Charm Chic, and our guest host this month is Ellie from DIY From House to Home. These ladies are so, so creative. Please go check out their channels and also the playlist, which I will have linked down below. I found these beautiful hairpins at the Dollar Tree and thought they were really beautiful. You probably can't tell here, but they do have little pearls on the letters. So what I'm going to do is create a more upscale version <laughs> of Scrabble tiles. So I'm just going to take the letters off and it will take some doing. It takes some uh, muscle for cutting and bending some of those sharper edges off. As you can see, I did lose one of my pearls, but that's okay. All I do is just dip it in a pool of hot glue and then place it back on with my pliers or tweezers. Now time to make our kiss blocks. I swear this metal was made out of vibranium. It was pretty hard to cut. It doesn't look like it in the video, but it actually was. I'm excited to put these out because they will go with another piece I made last week, which I will post up above. It's the Pearl XOXO letters. Little heart is part of Dollar Tree's table scatter. I found these beautiful wall decals at Dollar Tree and I loved how there were lots of different patterns. 
and I figured this would look really pretty if they were all individual hearts. So I was originally going to trace this heart template on the back. You can see where all of the patterns end and begin. So it's actually pretty easy to see, but I remembered that I have a silhouette, so <laughs> I ended up just putting it through my silhouette. So here they are all cut out. I did a double pass just to make sure that it cut through and I cut it on cardstock, I think. Um, so here I'm just going to use some Baker's Twine in pink and white and then gray and white and we're going to make them into hanging pieces. Because they are adhesive, I'm just smashing the end of the twine between two of the hearts. And then I'm going to be cutting the twine at different levels throughout this craft. I truly hope that you are enjoying the video today, and if you are one of my subscribers and are coming back, hello, I'm so thankful that you're here, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope that you will consider subscribing. My channel typically has DIYs that are easy on the budget, but beautiful to the eye. So if that's something that you'd like, I hope that you'll consider subscribing. Now that they're all together, I'm just going to make a simple knot. I found both these flowers in my stash and I liked them equally, so I decided to combine them. I just glued the smaller one in the middle of the bigger one and called it good. To start this DIY, we're going to separate the gems from the hearts and lips from this table scatter. I ended up using one and a half bags for this, and all we're going to do is we're going to glue the flat part of the gems to the inside of the heart. First I'm going to glue down the larger gems and then fill in with the smaller ones. Now as I'm gluing these down, I want to be aware of how the other side of this heart is going to fit together with the side I'm working on. So I'm trying not to put the gems over that little lip where it connects. Okay, I've got the base layer glued down. Now I'm going to glue in the second layer. And this time I'm going to glue the pointy end down. And that's going to fill in all of the little empty spaces that I have. I had so much fun making these and I hope that you would give at least one of them a try. Which one was your favorite?
As always, I so appreciate that you took your time to watch my video, and until I see you in the next one, take care.